Inline assembly is assembly road inside other language. And as a first example, let's use our absolute value computation. But this time, it is road inside C++ function. As you can see, assembly code is defined by underline ASM. Another thing you can see is that assembly can use variables defined in C++, so that is a good thing. Bad thing is that in assembly we cannot define functions and we also cannot directly return a value. So that is why there is this line, move to value. And value is variable in C++, whatever is stored in EAX register. So you may also notice that on every line in one instruction, and by instruction I mean this move or TMP, so basically this first word, then there are parameters. We can also call them operands. And as you can see, the number of operands depends on instruction. In general, instructions can have from zero to three operands. But in order for a computer to be able to execute your code, you need to pass the right number of arguments. For example, if I have here only move and then as argument EAX, then I would get some error because computer wants to know what to move to this register. Another important thing to note is that some computing instructions, like for example add, will always store the result of the operation to first operand. And that also means the value that was in first operand will be overridden by the result. And I will talk more about that in lectures later on. So, if you understand everything, great. If you don't, just ask. I will try to help you and I will see you next time.